Okay, so we looked at how to do a single line of user entered data in a form, the text area form element. And we looked at how to allow users to input uh, lots of data, pages of data if they want, which is uh, they can type it into a text box in, using the input text form element. But what if you want the user to just pick from a few options um, from a drop down menu? Uh, then you want to create a drop-down list. Um, and the way you do that is like this. So let's take out uh, our text area form. So we're going to delete line 11. And let's delete the closing tag as well. All right. And instead, uh, we're going to go... select and uh, basically that is the HTML tag uh, saying that there is going to be a list of items to select from so we have to give it a name and we'll use the name element and call it uh, TPS choices and then um, we want to uh, tell it how many choices we're going to give them. So size equals, and let's give them, say, three choices. And then um, close that. And then, of course, it pops up the, it's a container tag, so it pops up the end uh, closing tag. So uh, now we still don't have anything over here we, because we need to, to give the actual choice options. And that's done with the option tag. So we have option and we'll say choice one. And then since we're giving them three choices, we have to tell them what each one of them is and so we copy paste that and choose two and three so they have the choice between uh, choice one two or three and as you can see that's what it looks like over here save but if and let's preview it in um, uh, the web browser here so as you can see they can choose one two or three and click there to send their choice to the web uh, server um, but what they can't do is choose more than one um, so if you want them to be able to choose more than one um, sorry let's minimize that. If we want them to be able to choose more than one, we have to um, give them the ability to do that. So let's add in some more choices here. Let's say there's, um, let's put in nine and So let's renumber these four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so they still have nine choices there, um, but uh, in order to choose for them to choose, be able to choose multiple choices. All we have to do is add an element here that says multiple. Save that. And let's take a look at it in Firefox. And there we can choose one. Or 
if they hold the control button, they can click, sorry, the, um, it's the control on the PC. It's uh, the Apple, um, also known as the command key on Mac. So they can choose one, four, and seven, or whatever they want, and enter that. So that's how you do a uh, multiple choice list.